Hello, we are standing in the city of Rotterdam in the Netherlands. We're standing on the roof garden of the Schieblok building. This building was saved from demolition and is now being used by a lot of different companies. However, the building is still waiting to be adapted. In order to have this building adapted successfully, we need to understand the area in which the building stands. In this week, we're going to introduce the case and we're going to introduce the course as well. Let's have a quick tour around the area. Welcome to the roof garden of the Schieblok. It is great to have a green garden in the middle of a city, don't you think? This garden is one of the sustainable features that is used to attract people to the building and make the area more lively and a pleasant place to work. For instance, these mainly agricultural crops are used for small restaurants nearby. As you can see here, we are in a very dense urban area. This area is called Rotterdam Central District and it accommodates a lot of offices, but also housing, craft stores, coffee bars and so on. We're just a five minute walk away to the train station and nearby tram and metro stops is very well accessible by foot and by public transport. As you can see here, the building stands very close to a railway track. It causes a lot of noise, but at the same time, all the trains that pass by will see the building in a very easy way. Let's see what else goes on here at street level. Still a bit above street level, here we stand at the Luchtsingel Bridge that crosses a major road and railway. This project was initiated by architectural firm Zus. The purpose of this project was to connect the building and site to its surrounding area. It was crowdfunded and later a subsidy was made available by the municipality of Rotterdam after inhabitants supported the project by public vote. It's both functional and fun to walk on this bridge. Let's go! We just went through the building and we are now on the other side, at the beer garden. This bar and restaurant activates the public space in what used to be a very desolate urban area. This also attracts new investment to the area as the air becomes more vibrant. So, what are the opportunities for building adaptation? For instance, the buildings on this side might be very suitable for adaptation. And could you also think of anything to do with this somewhat unpleasant looking parking lot? Could it be used better to give a boost to the other buildings around here as well? Our tour of the area finishes here. Let's go inside of the Schieblok to discuss this week's assignment. We are now inside the building at the office of Zus architects and initiators of the redevelopment. Now that you've joined us on our tour, we are very curious about the ideas you have for redeveloping the area further. That's why during this week, we will use the Schieblok as a case study for making an urban redevelopment plan. You are going to perform several analyses, ranging from studying real estate markets to identifying key stakeholders. In the end, you will combine all your ideas into an urban redevelopment plan. You are going to propose your ideas on a map and give feedback to each other. Good luck with this week. <laughs>